uh, meeting back to order. We are resuming after the, um, uh, the adjournment for uh, morning tea as the, uh, me me the meeting had officially commenced uh, with our Pōhiri uh, first of all. Uh, we're very fortunate that uh, Councillor Sears has arrived uh, as her, uh, her flights have um, uh, worked out. So we're able to uh, slightly amend the agenda to complete the uh, declaration uh, for Councillor Sears before embarking on the next order of business, which is the election of the chair. So uh, I would like to invite Councillor Sears to come forward and make her declaration. Thank you. I, Sophie Sears, declare that I will faithfully and impartially, and according to the best of my skill and judgment, execute and perform in the best interests of the Hawke's Bay residents the powers, authorities, and duties vested in or imposed upon me as a member of the Hawke's Bay Regional Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002 the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act, 1987, or any other act. Now to the next order of business, the election of the chairperson. Uh, the papers have been circulated to councillors uh, and an are in Stella or in paper versions provided. It looks like everybody uh, is on Stella, should be on Stella, although nobody has a device. So I will uh, just remind councillors that there are uh, two steps to this process, uh, the first of which relates to uh, a decision by council of which uh, uh, voting system uh, to be used uh, for the election of chair. Um, the legislation stipulates that there are uh, two different, uh, there is system A and B, there are two different systems that uh, can be used, uh, which specifically relates to when there are more than one uh, candidates for uh, such uh, a uh, appointment. Uh, so uh, what I need is, um, uh, a councillor to move uh, with a, uh, uh, a system, whether it is A or B, and somebody to uh, second that. But before we do, I'll just ask whether there are any questions in relation to uh, the paper as presented. None. No, that's good. Uh, would somebody like to move uh, either system A or system B uh, be adopted for the election of chair. B. Uh, chair, if I may move, um, System B. System B. Uh, second that. Uh, seconded by uh, uh, Councillor Curtin, moved by Councillor Williams. <laughs> uh, all those in favour say aye. 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 Against? It is carried. We now move to uh, <coughs> nomination for the chair of uh, Te Konihira Arohi or Te Matua Maui, uh, the Hawke's Bay Regional Council, uh, for the uh, 2022 to 2025 triennium. Uh, do we have any nominations for the election of chair? Uh, chair, I'd like to nominate Councillor Ormsby for the position of chair. Thank you, Councillor Williams. Uh, do we have a seconder to that motion? I'll second that. Thank you, thank you, Councillor Curtin. Uh, Councillor Ormsby, do you accept the nomination? I, I do. Thank you, Councillor Ormsby. Uh, Councillor Williams, uh, as the mover of the motion, would you like to speak to that? <coughs> uh, just briefly, um, if I may. Um, as I think I've shared with a number of my colleagues <coughs> who are now duly sworn in, we have some immense challenges, this triennium, um, it is going to be the triennium where we have to grasp the nettle, uh, where we can no longer kick the can down the road. We may have uh, reoriented uh, the walker in a certain direction, uh, but it's now 
uh, time to reach a destination. Uh, we need to own the mana o te wai. We need to own the biodiversity crisis. We need to own the climate crisis. And I believe, for the reasons I'm about to just briefly touch on, that Councillor Ormsby uh, is the right person for this job at this time. Um, a number of qualities spring to mind through which I commend uh, Councillor Ormsby. Her uh, dedication, uh, her commitment and her resolve have been revealed in spades, not just through the mahi of the last term, but the way uh, she ran uh, a campaign in which I was just truly in awe when I first stood uh, successfully back in 2019. As anyone who has been a, a, an akona in uh, uh, where she's been a kayako, she is a, a woman of immense intellect, uh, understanding of science and the natural world. Uh, she walks the talk. She's, you know, the nursery is, is famous that Cam and her have, have um, I guess, uh, promoted the, the recloaking of the landscape um, with 3,000 trees a year. She has humility. She has humanity. Um, she illustrates uh, Pukumahi. She is an uh, incredibly hard worker. Her work ethic uh, is, is um, uh, without question. Um, and mandate. Uh, anyway, I took the very brave step uh, of standing twice now and successfully now on the general role uh, and in the last election when many of her support base or her natural support base couldn't actually vote for her. And I know I've had a number of people speak to me just about how, how much that hurt. Uh, and yet here she is, uh, successfully and duly elected again on the general role. So I guess that lands me in the final thing I wanted to say. That, uh, it, it, it draws upon what uh, uh, Pity and uh, Baden shared earlier about mahitahi working together. If we are to grasp the nettle on these immense challenges uh, and to own those crises which I referred to, uh, we are going to have to uh, carry all of our communities, urban, rural, Māori, Pākehā, uh, on the same journey. And I believe that uh, Hiniwai, if I could label her, uh, Te Arawhiti, o Nga Tangata Katoa, o Te Matawa Māori, she is the bridge that I think can connect all of the people of Hawke's Bay to own and uh, address and meet these many challenges. And with those words, I uh, nominate, as I have, <laughs> Councillor Ormsby. Those are the reasons for which I did that. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Curtin, do you wish to add anything as the uh, seconder of the motion? <coughs> Thank you, um, uh, James. Um, uh, I certainly echo the, um, the words of my colleague, Councillor Williams, uh, and we've worked together uh, in the last term with Henny White close quarters. Um, we've um, been on the hustings together and uh, fully appreciate um, the skills uh, that Henny White brings to the table. But I'd like to, uh, beyond um, those fine qualities, um, give a context for <coughs> um, this point in time and just to reflect on um, what I see um, looking back on two decades of um, involvement around this table is that we are uh, at the um, confluence of change, um, major change, and we have the right team around this table to do it. Um, I, have, I, don't, I, I don't believe that there's been a more youthful, vigorous, um, uh, challenging group of people elected to council at one time. and. Um, um, so in that context, we've got a tremendous choice of leaders um, to take us forward. Um, it's a difficult decision to make because uh, we do have choices uh, and it gets down to the context in which we find ourselves in, in, in this, this triennium, uh, 22 to 2025, um, that, um, that um, for me is the des decider in in, in, in wanting to see Henry Ormsby uh, take that leadership role. Uh, 
It's about meeting the challenges that are in front of us now. There are many of them. Um, they rely on that um, mahitaki that my colleague, Councillor Williams, has referred to, and the capacity uh, to go into the community, uh, all parts of our community, and have a very, very significant conversation about the use of particularly our water resources. Um, that will be the challenge that that we face uh, over the next triennium. And on those terms, um, I think we've got the right leadership group uh, to do that. Um, and I look forward to three years of challenge from a young, able, um, and, and a person that's yet to experience um, the, the highs and lows of, um, of that leadership role. Um, I have uh, every confidence, however, that that skill set that drive, that determination, um, and that overarching, um, uh, if you like, um, uh, responsibility uh, to the people we serve is, is there. And I'm certain that, that we will benefit greatly from uh, uh, Henry leadership and of my other colleagues to be uh, yet to be supported into office. Thank you, Councillor. Are there any other nominations for the Chair of the Council? As there are none, I declare that Hinawai Ormsby is elected unopposed. Um, 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 Tauaki ana kia tu pono ahau, kia tu mataktika ahau, ki te taumata o aku pukenga, me aku whakataunga, e tika ana hei whakatutuki, hei whakaoti māku, hei painga mo te rohe o te mataua Māori ara, ko, ko ngā mana, ngā whakapumau, me ngā haipapa, ki runga i ahau, hei 
hei heama, heamana o te kaunihera arohe o te mātaua Māori e ai ki uh, te Local Government Act 2002, te Local Government, uh, Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, o te rā etahi atu pere an, anō hoki. Mehudi. Declaration by Chairperson. I, Niwai Ormsby, declare that I will faithfully and impartially and according to the best of my skill and judgment execute and perform in the best interests of the Hawke's Bay region. The powers, authorities and duties vested in or imposed upon me as Chair of the Hawke's Bay Regional Council by virtue of the Local Government Act 2002, the Local Government Official Information and Meetings Act 1987, or any other act. Tēnā koutou. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. <laughs> Kia ora, James. <clears throat> Well done. See, you were on You know that that B section. And that goes straight to the person's been nominated to it. But it was good. I think is it only if that's there's a um, one nomination. Um, uh, so what an honour um, it is to have our loved ones, our whānau and our friends uh, be able to honour us and support us um, with this morning's occasion, our pōwhiri and our inauguration. Um, it's with immense uh, gratitude to be nominated tēnā kōrua, uh, ko Martin, ko Neil, uh, me o kupu and whakaro for your thoughts um, and your kind words. Also to the rest of our councillors, tēnā koutou, for your support um, in becoming the Hawke's Bay Regional Council Chairperson for the 2022 Triennium. Um, we are at an, a new era. We're in a new era and it's an exciting one. It's an era of challenge a challenge around perceived uh, assumptions. It's a challenge around what we know, and it's a challenge of how we succeed, how the success of how we achieve things are done together. Uh, it will take courage, and we will need to be brave to meet the difficult times ahead for our council and for the region and the betterment of our tail of our environment and our people. We are at a pivotal point in our time that will call on the skills and attributes of each one of us, that will need to steer our region through rough waters in the next coming three years. So your values that you bring from your diverse backgrounds will come to the table and the voices of our communities will be heard. But we will be stronger and there's strength in our collaborative approach moving forward in this new time of era. Me kōkiri whakamua tātou. Now into our next item. We have the election of the Deputy Chairperson and in the same fashion as we have heard from, from James, uh, 
we will need to decide on either System A or System B of voting for our Deputy Chairperson. So before we do that, are there any other further questions around those two systems? Um, can I please have a mover and a seconder for either System A or System B? Yeah, I'd suggest we, um, no, I nominate Section B. Builder. Thank Just you, Charles. And seconder, uh, Yeriff. Thank you very much. All those who agree, say aye. 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 <coughs> Carried. So we move into the same system. Um, and so I will call for nominations for the Deputy Chair position of the Hawke's Bay Regional Council for this triennium. Charlie. I nominate uh, Will Foley. Kia ora. Can I please have a seconder? And Yera. Do you accept Councillor Foley? Yes. Thank you. Kia ora. Uh, Charlie, would you like to speak? I know that System B actually says the nominee speaks, but yes, I would. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, I, having known Will for the last three years, uh, I'm really... Um, Privileged to say that he's uh, been a, a really good example. <coughs> Halfway through our, our our tenure, we had to had a change of chair and, and chairperson, uh, deputy, and um, Will filled up the deputy role back then. And he he was a, uh, a sobering part of the team. Um, he brought a perspective that we are going to need to help balance our walker over the next um, three years. As you say, there is a, a lot of relationships to, to bring forward and to um, pui pui and, and, and massage um, so that we are a, a one team, he uh, whānau ko tahi tātou. And I note that um, we, tank plan has been finished and there's still a lot of work to, um, there might be some work falling on from that. Mm -hmm. And there are a couple of more plans to go under the ko tahi plan, which is on the mohaka and on the wairoa. And I think a big part of those, um, getting those things across the line is to make sure that our farmers have a voice. And I particularly note that um, Will has been um, providing a steady hand on farm practices, uh, which, which will help, which will be, set a good example uh, for the farmers in the Hawke's Bay. So uh, notwithstanding the, um, the brilliant farmers we've got on the committee right now, uh, and, and I look at our, our, um, our new councillors, and, and I'd say that you are all going to have to contribute um, to, to the next three years. There's no mm. two ways about it. Um, and the, the fact that um, Will has already moved along the path of regenerative farming, mm. looking after our farming trust. Um, yeah, and he, uh, I notice he counts a lot of pennies, and he <laughs> keeps uh, ratepayers in mind. <laughs> Which is what they're looking for, and I and I think that with you at the helm, uh, and and with um, Will close behind, um, we talk about co-chairs and yeah, and 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 Māori them, and this is a way of balancing that out uh, for all of us. So yeah, I think Will will be able to do the job. I'm not sure if he had a chance to say so, he would tell you himself. <laughs> <laughs> Are you asking me to speak? Yes, please. Okay. Um, as with uh, with cheese, they get better with age, and Charlie, you've done this really well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my cho first choice would have been, and I'm not going to name any names, but I would have preferred a co-chair. Uh, so mm -hmm. we actually had two chairs. Mm -hmm. And imagine, I'm not into history making as well, but I'm, I'm into what is right. Not what feels right, but what is right. And to have, I think, think, without stepping on anyone's toes, by Will Foley uh, being the deputy, we have the two youngest serving councillors actually in the roles that are so important. <laughs> Martin, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you might think so and act so, but you're not. Um, so I think it's, it's, a, it's a really good uh, path that we're carving ourselves also for our community uh, mm -hmm. to once again see that we are not... Um, uh, pale, um, stale and middle-aged, <laughs> but actually we actually are forthright thinking uh, council and that we see that the youth 
um, and Will, uh, you're definitely uh, seen as youth by me. Um, and of course, Hanawai with your younger children here, it mm -hmm. was really neat. Um, so I think it's a really good fit. Um, co-chair would have been fantastic. Um, it's not allowed by Act, but mm. otherwise that would have been my first option. Mm. And maybe that's something we need to go, uh, go and uh, revisit uh, in the next three years. So on that basis, um, Charlie has said it all. Um, we all know that Will has got um, the, the primary production uh, at heart. He also has got the environment at heart. Um, he's got the pennies at heart. Um, but also, Will represents five of us now, in a way. Uh, last year, last uh, three years, we only had um, two uh, primary producing um, uh, councillors. Uh, now we have five. And as I have mentioned in the last um, trainium, uh, it, is, it is at the landowner's space where we're actually going to make change, where we're actually going to look after our environment. Uh, but at the same time, also where we as a community will prosper. So I think it's really great to see um, you, Hinawai, uh, mm -hmm. on the chair, um, but ably um, supported by Will Foley. And therefore, I support as a seconder at the nomination of Will Foley. Thank you, Gurdjieff. Um, I'll call for any other nominations. If there are none, which there aren't, um, I declare Will Foley. Councillor Will Foley is our Deputy Chair. Um, Will, there's an opportunity now for you to um, share with us your thoughts. Kia ora. Kia ora. Thank you, Chair. I have to confess, uh, confess Councillor Van Baker, I'm sure I've got a few grey hairs over the last three years. <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, tēnā koutou katoa. First of all, thank you very much to... Uh, Councillor Lambert and Councillor Van Bake for your uh, nomination and very much for your support. Uh, I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank uh, the good people of Tamatea who three years ago um, entrusted their faith and put me in a seat around this table and continue to support me. I've had uh, many conversations over the last few weeks, as you all have, um, enjoyed getting to know um, the new members of this team and if I had one hope um, to to leave with you all it was that you know what you see here is what you get I'm a um, sheep and beef farmer from Central Hawke's Bay but very uh, privileged and honoured uh, to sit here and um, represent and help out with the views and the issues across the whole Hawke's Bay region, from the bottom of Wairau <laughs> to the top of CHB. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the first uh, rule of su success is the vision. I grew up um, in, in a farming family. I went off to school that had, a, um, had its own farm and agriculture courses. I went to Massey, studied applied science and agriculture, but came home, but just lacked the passion um, and the desire to really sort of enjoy what I was doing. It wasn't until uh, September 15th, 2013, that uh, myself and Abby um, had a son born Archie, and once we realised he was autistic, we decided to do something about it, 
And when we started to understand that we could have an impact by what we fed them, just this whole new world opened up and suddenly we had, we created our vision from that catalyst, if you like, and a purpose in life where we wanted to help others. Um, and it was so much more than just what we ate, it was how that food came about, the environment we live in, the rivers we swim in, the air we breathe. And so <clears throat> we started off um, helping one-on-one -on -one people with, um, with, with children with, with um, various issues, but I quickly realised it needed to be bigger than that, and so hence here I am on regional council. So I guess my point is the next couple of weeks is what I view as the most critical for the term where we come together as a council and uh, leadership can take two forms. We can lead from the front or leaders can lead from behind. And in the next two weeks, I think the leadership should come from behind because it, all, all 11 of us have to come together and create our own vision for what the Hawke's Bay region should look like. And that then sets the scene for the staff and it's our job to keep them on track for the next three years. So to me that's the, the, the critical, um, I guess, work that's undertaken and I think, you know, we need to do that collectively as a team in consensus and from that point on, you know, I couldn't sum, up, sum it up any better than Baden when he said, you know, we all stay on the same walker. We don't go on your own. And so on, on that, I'll leave it. Um, congratulations, uh, Hinawai. Look forward to supporting you and uh, uh, making Hawke's Bay a better place to live, to work and to play. Thank you. Kia ora, Will, and I will very much look forward to uh, working alongside you. And just like you, yeah, I did ask that earlier on in the last term, so I thought that was a great idea, but we'll have to work on that. Mm. Three cheers. Kia ora. So uh, we are up to item five, um, and it's the fixing of the date and time of our first ordinary meeting of the Hawke's Bay Regional Council. So, James, I'll hand that over to you, and then uh, we'll move through the item. Thank you, Chair. Uh, we will be uh, presenting Council with a full uh, diary of uh, Council meetings uh, for the year ahead uh, in due course after some discussion and decision making in relation to Council committees. Uh, in the meantime, however, we are required uh, to uh, set at least one meeting uh, and so it is proposed that the first ordinary meeting of the Regional Council uh, be convened and conducted <laughs> on uh, Wednesday the 16th of November uh, and that is uh, recommended by staff and there is a uh, recommendation set out in the paper to uh, adopt such a date. Thank you James. Are there any questions around that recommendation? If there are not, can I please have a mover and a seconder? Thank you Zan, thank you Yeraf. All those who agree say aye. Aye. All those against, carried. Uh, on to item six, relevant legislation affecting councillors. James. Thank you, Chair. Uh, <coughs> the Local Government Act requires that uh, I, as Chief Executive, at the very first meeting of council, once you have been uh, both duly elected and have been sworn as councillors, advise you of uh, various uh, legal obligations that 